Hello friends, welcome back to Pokemon Violet. Uh, the last time we played, we defeated our first Titan Pokemon, the Rocky Stone Titan Cloth. Uh, and we have arrived at Artisan, the first town other than Mesa Goza we've ever been to in this game. Uh, and there is a gym here, so we're probably going to do that. Um, so yeah, let's, let's see, where am I? I'm in the center part. Right. Um, before we do that, though, there is a tower I want to get to. It is over there, I think. So we're going to start moseying that way, and we're going to see if we can't get to that tower. And then after that, we'll fly back and, uh, do some more stuff. A silly cobra raid. Here. I'll just pick up the LP. Let's see if I can't get to this tower. It's over here, I think. Yeah, there it is. Oh. <laughs> There's another charcoal out there. Should probably pick that up. Charcoal is a Pokemon that is incredibly hard to tell if it's shiny, because only its eyes are different. It's kind of sticky. Let's see if we kill it or not. We killed it. That's all right. We've got two already. If we had caught it, wouldn't have been a bum. One wouldn't have been bummed about it. All right, ran down a rookity. All right, shall we get to this tower over there? Can I do it? Okay, we got a ramp. Hmm, it's not looking like it's going to let me over there. And I can't. Oh, I know what to do. Well, I don't know if I can get that far. Let's see what I can do here. We're gonna try something. Ugh. Oh, just short. All right, doesn't look like I would be able to get over there. So, in the essence of time, although it looks like I might be able to get over there from there. All right, so I'll, I'll enter Artisan first. I'm gonna use that as a, as a gateway. So we'll fly back over. All right, we'll enter Artisan for the first time. Here we are, here's town. See, as you can see, very flowery. They enjoy plants here. Hmm. So those are the gym buildings there. Uh, but we are not quite ready for that yet. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna leave town for a hot sec and see if we can get to that tower. That's a Shuppet. Well, I haven't caught Shuppet yet. Do you see Bomber? Knocked it straight out. Ah, Shuppet. Let's pick up Shuppet later. All right, so we're back in the desert. We're gonna use this as a shortcut of sorts. There we go. We got a trainer. Ah, I'm a worker. That's nice for you. All right, let's see what Marius has got. Voltor. switch for Magnemite. It's a fire type. Charsad should be able to do what we need it to do here. I'm use 
number. Oh, the electro ball. Ow. Hopefully it doesn't not use Electro Ball again. Perfect. A much less effective ball move. There we go. Alright, we beat that worker. Leveled up, we learned Nightshade. We can learn Nightshade. Uh, yeah. Nightshade is like, um, kind of like Seismic Toss, it does the same amount of damage as your level. So the stronger we get, the stronger the damage output of that is going to be. There's a Corvus Squire. There's a Vigoroth. And a Mankey. I haven't caught Mankey yet. Can we use Bite, because we know it won't kill it? Perfect. And it fledged. Love that for us. We'll Bite again. Mankey? I'm gonna name him Rage. Cause that's his deal. He's all about the rage. Ragey. There you go. To the boxes with you, Ragey. Like Vigoroth ran away. Where'd Vigoroth go? He's gone. Alright, bye Vigoroth. And we're gonna keep traveling towards the tower. Especially early in the game, you always should check these towers. It's a good chance for you to get your Gimme Ghoul. Ricard, the Genitor. The Grimer. Interesting. Did he bite? Woohoo! Flinched and could not move. Perfect. No damage for you, Wednesday. Excellent fighting. Perfect. Alright, so we beat Ricard. Did I just beat up a janitor for money? You better believe I did. Alright, a flying Terra Shard hanging out. We're gonna get off Maridon, and we're gonna climb. Always make sure sometimes there are items and little demi ghouls up here. We got Drain Punch, that's an excellent move. We're gonna need that later. Drain Punch is one of the best raid moves you can have. So definitely something worth getting. And then there's our gimme ghoul. Okay, let's see here. Something that won't kill it. U turn. Perfect. Ooh, this is a hidden ability. Gimme Ghoul has rattled. Oh no, that's just his regular ability. Never mind. I know, I know things. Put the hammer in there. Come 
Perfect. Right, I'll use Metal Claw. It's not a staff move. Perfect. Okay, Astonish. Awesome. Let's see if we can't catch it on a Luxury Ball. a cool way to catch it, but that is just not going to happen. I'll really use this Pokeball instead. Save odds. So like I said previously in a couple of different videos, Gimme Ghoul is hard to evolve. You do have to find 999 of his coins, um, which is a lot. It takes a while. So um, my advice is to get searching. Find as many as possible as early as you can. It really helps you explore the map anyway. Because um, Goldengo is a really good Pokemon. He looks really goofy, but it doesn't mean he's not good. <sighs> do I have a Pokemon with, like, a Thunder Wave? I 100% do. I do. Alright, we're switching to Pikachu. We're gonna Thunder Wave him. Then we'll catch him. There. And Gimme Ghoul, unlike Gold Echo, is affected by Thunder Wave. <laughs> that's right, Goldengo can't be hit with status boots. So that's pretty sweet. In case you're thinking about any reason why you shouldn't use it. There you go. Sometimes you just need to paralyze something. Alright, so we've captured Gibby Ghoul. We're gonna name it Ghoul. We're gonna name it Gold Dude. And we're going to send him to the box, because he's useless right now. He'll be well worth it in the future. 50 coins for that. Perfect. All right, so we're going to move Goldango, or Gold Gimme Ghoul, into our party box over here. He will be back in the future. Just real quick, let's check how many... Coins we have. He's always at the bottom. 172. So we've got a lot to go. Um, the other thing we're going to try to do is we're going to try to climb this mountain because there's some awesome stuff up there. Ah, as you can see, there are ruins up there. We want those ruins. So let's let's see if we can't motor our way up there. We've got a, a bike. That should be enough, right? You might need Super Jump to be able to get up there, unfortunately. But I don't give up easily, so we're going to find out. Alright, let's see here. We got an item. Scary face. What's down here? I wonder. A way up, perhaps? Bum shoes. Uh, my jump is not very good. <laughs> okay, we're all the way back up here. We'll just scoot skedaddle out. Looks like we can't climb this thing right now. Which is a huge bummer. But it is what it is. Oh, 
Oh, Ponyard. I think that's Ponyard. Yes, fall for my bites. Supposed to flinch. Flinch. Okay, now I can't double up on my moves. I've disappeared. All right, we caught Ponya. Allude to Ponyard's new evolution with its name. Maybe you can figure it out. Comment if you know. Based off the name. If you already know, you already know. But see where I'm going with this. You can figure out why I picked that name. Let me know in the comments. There we go. There's Ponyard. Another Pokemon. Registered in the Pokedex. Another mint, that's cool. And we're jumping down another level! Wow. Wow, 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 wow! There's Alexia. Heartgrown. Axe you? Hey yo! I love you and ask you. Yeah, I would love to give Axe you a nickname. What's the girl from How to Trade Your Dragon's name? That's what I'm gonna name it. It's like Mildred or something. Astrid, that's her name. This is gonna be Astrid. And Astrid's going to the party. Sorry, Pikachu. You're out. Actually, the boss. You had a good run, Pikachu. Sorry about that. Huh. What do you think the chances are I can make it across this river? What do you think? Uh, poor. It was poor. It was poor. Alright, it looks like we're trapped on this plateau, which is fine. We're prepared for such things. We can just fly out. Go right back to our design. Alright, so we picked up some new Pokemon. For our decks and a new team member. We got Astrid the Axew. We caught a Gibby Ghoul. Which is awesome. Alright, team is ready to go. We do have some Pokemon that are super effective against our gym trainers. So, 
let's let's go challenge a gem, shall we? Artisan also only really has delis. They don't have um, they don't have like battle item shops here. So if you are looking for some battle item shops, you don't have them here. Here we go, our first gym. They always look like that. Um, technically, the game wants you to go in the other direction to battle the first gym, but we're picking this one, so deal with it, game. There's Nimona. Oh, hey, Anna. Alright, Nimona's pumped. Thanks, Nimona. Oh, okay. Alright, welcome to the Artisan Gym. Your name is Anna, it is Anna. Great. Now we gotta pass the gym test. We gotta find all the some flora. <laughs> all right. So our gym test is to collect some flora. So that's what we're going to do. Alright, so over here is where you have to go. Real quick, we're going to go to this playground area. There is a TM in here. Ooh. So we got to climb the playground a little bit. Can I climb this? No. Okay, so that's not where I needed to go then. Hold your horses. There we go. Another ladder. That's what I'm looking for. So I believe it's... Uh, I don't think I'm on the right one either again. Man. I can't. Lame. Well, maybe I'm figuring it out. Yep, okay. I went up the right ladder this time. Ugh. Just fall off then. Oh, I can't fall off. That's frustrating. Nope, so stop doing that. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so we want to get up here. There it is. We found skill swap. Perfect. Alright, from here we can hop on down. We found what we wanted. All right, here's where we need to be. We need to talk to this lady here. Hi, we're here to find the Sunflora. All right, so all the Sunflora run around. We have to go find them. All right, so we need to go find 10 Sunflora in the city. They're hidden all over the place. Found ya. You found a Sunflora. You found a Sunflora. They're really sleepy at night, because they are Sunflowers. Oh, that Sunflora runs. I can. Don't say. What'd you do to it? I don't know. Oh, you did one of those. Gotta be more careful at this point. Oh, that's not good. Pardon me, folks. I'm undoing the slinky. <laughs> this is what we get for getting cool things for our son. <laughs> for Christmas! Chris Christmas! What's Christmas? 
Christmas. But weird. What the heck? You know how me and Mom like to say weird things. Okay. I mean, we do. Ah. Uh, Hold on. Sorry, folks. <laughs> so what happens when you have a kid. And he has a slinky. And he has a slinky. Oh my goodness. What the? What did I do? I, I don't know. I goofed. That's what I did. I guess it's just like that. No, it won't be just like that. Hold on, folks. I'm going to pause and be right back. We did it, folks. We found three on the floor and we've undone the slinky. Hey, Dad. Yes, Kim. Of course you can, sweetheart. Have you had breakfast yet? Don't lie to me. Have you had breakfast yet? Um, I don't know. Okay. Last time we asked you, you said no. So I'm going to assume that's a no. Eat breakfast first. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> trap just on the floor, huh? It is good for me. <laughs> Defeated yet another some flora. Join me on my quest, some flora. Now we have five. Oh, there are some up here, so you should walk up here on this row thing. On the other side. Over here. There's one. Hello, I left some flora. I'm a sad sack. In case you were wondering, it's night time. I hate that. Another one. Seven. Oh, there's another one over here. Nope. Okay, three more to five. Well, hello, other flower Pokemon. Oh, the sun's coming up. That means they're going to be a little more active. There's one over there. In case you're wondering, there are more than ten. So, the ones I'm finding are there, but there are more. So, you don't have to worry about finding all of them. There's like all our Believer statues. Um, let's see here. What if I just find, like... There's one. That's number nine. Alright, I'm pretty sure there's another one in the center. Oh, there it is. Right there. Number ten. Look at us finding the Sunfloras. You found all ten! There are more than ten, of course. Like I said, I'm not lying to you. There are actually more than ten. I just found those ten. Huzzah for me! Here I come! I found them! Back to the lobby. So we run back over here. And they'll say, Good job, you. You did that thing we asked you. Huzzah! It seems you did what we asked. Congrats! Are you ready to challenge Bracius? I am ready to challenge Bracius. <sighs> Hope you're ready for a fight, Bracius. Brassius, whatever your name is. <laughs> All 
All right, here we are. We made it to the place. Ah, greetings, Challenger. Where are you? Oh. All right. He just jumped off like a three-story building. You did well to come this far. I'm Brassius. I like grass Pokemon. You did a good job running around there. While I was standing on this windmill. Ah, avant-garde, you say? All right, so we're gonna create a work of art in battle. Let's go, punk. You and your big old whip thing. What do we got here? Pet Lil. We got cat versus plant. Let's go. Alright, so we killed that little real quick there. Um, Brassius's prized Pokemon, the one he terras, is Pseudo Wudo. So we are going to put in Charsedge. And that would make not much sense if it was just going to be Pseudo Wudo, but since he's terraing it. That makes perfect sense. Oh, he's got Smolive, too. All right, good. We'll fight Smolive with Charset as well. Bring it, little olive boy. Ember! Oh, 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 oh. Tackle. Ouch! Ember again! All right, we knock out that Smolive. Now he's sending out pseudo Pluto. We're still happy with what we got. Okay, so pseudo Pluto is going to Terra. So we will as well. Alright, so we call pseudo Pluto truly Pluto by turning him into a grass type. It was in the trailer. You should know this by now. so close. Well, that's because he's got sturdy. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna pull it once over on this guy. Oops. I healed my fire type Pokemon. The full Whoa, that did a lot of damage. Alright, we're gonna bounce. He's going to use another rock attack on me, so we're going to switch to Wednesday. Who resists the rock attack? Your opponent's weak! Hit him Wednesday! Aha! That was too smart for you, sir. Fight! Um, so he does have a TM that he's going to give us for his signature move. He didn't end up actually using in um, the battle because of the Pokemon I chose. But the move is called Trailblaze, and it increases your speed. Hammer wants to learn Protect. Protect is a great move. Lure plays hard in with that. Awesome. We have defeated Brassius. Yeah, that's right. Very avant-garde of me to defeat you. That's right. Shake my hand, you bum. Defeated you. Nice. 
place. All right. We have gathered the grass badge. All right, Pokemon up to level 25 will obey me now if I catch them. And we get the TM for Trailblaze, the new move that raises speed. All right, he's gonna go do make some more art. And we will leave with our badge. Huzzah! Got a phone call. Hey, it's the Mona. Asking how the gym went. I passed. I've already helped Arvin. So, our Pokemon did it. Um, by beating the gym, we do get some more TMs that we can make. So they give us, like, some some more stuff that we can do. Which is pretty sweet. And now that we've done that, we can go explore a little bit. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to this Pokemon Center and heal. And then I think we're going to look around town... Not like in town, but around the area for the rest of this episode. See what there is to see in the area around Artisan. And then after that, who knows? Good morning. I would love to hear my Pokemans. I've gotten all of the, the tidbits. Thank you. Terror orbs all charged up. We're ready to go. Time to do some exploring. There's lots to explore over here, so we should go check it all out. Pokemon we have not caught. Potentially. Items to grab. For sure. We're in East Province Area 1. Uh, that's a rookie. We already have a rookie. Can't go in the water yet. Oh, that is a or choreo in the ballet version. We caught the cheerleading one earlier. This one is the fire type. I also see a mouse hole over there. We we killed the last mouse hole we found. Toss a Pokeball. Mm, this Oracle does not want to be caught. Mm. We'll bite it one more time, see if we don't kill it. Ah! Thanks for that attack drop. Made it easier for me to catch you, my friend. Crit catch. Salsa's going to the boxes. Where'd that mouse go? I want it. Yes. Fight me, mouse. Oh, I did catch mouse. Perfect. Well, in that case, I will annihilate you. Teddy Ursa, though, I definitely haven't gotten. To learn Dragon Claw, we want that move. We 
We'll get rid of Assurance. We're gonna keep Taunt. It's a helpful move. Nope, I don't want the Spock ability. Look at me, I have a Pompadour. I have Intimidate. I don't want that. A Quick Ball. Perfect. Alright, Teddy Ursa we have not caught. That I am sure of. So let's bite that guy. Good, good. A flinch. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Is that an attack drop? Yep. Good, I won't kill it then. Toss that up to the Ursa. And another crit catch. The more Pokemon you have registered to your Pokedex, the more likely you will get a crit catch. Another excellent reason to catch more Pokemon early. Alright, you're gonna be named Barry. But spelled like a bear! Perfect. Alright, let's go see. There's the evolved form of our of our winky friend. We've got Kumala. Kumala's always slepping. But he doesn't actually have the sleep condition. So he can't be put to sleep, which is cool. He's trying to spit up without Swallow Yeti first. That's not very helpful. Oh, Kamala. You're hurting me. Gotta use Stockpile first, Kamala. Hmm! The audacity. Alright. Dunspar wants to learn ancient power. We want Dunsparce to learn ancient power. We'll get rid of Fle No. We'll get rid of Screech. I wanna hang on to Poison Tail. Flail's not a bad move to have. It's also our only stab move. Coma. Because he's always slipping. <laughs> Venonat is a Pokemon I have not caught yet. Let's catch that Venonat. See if this nest ball works. Got him. And that's a Venonat catch. Lim Koga Venomoth was one of Koga's prime Pokemon. Another Pokemon captured in the name of science. More birds. So many birds in this region.
Right, we'll go along this cliff here. Cliff! Experience Unity. That's a Tauros. I would like that Tauros, thank you. Alright, Tauros is a fighting type. In Caldea. Because bullfighting. Right, used assurance on us, that's fine. Just see bombed again. There we go, don't kill me. Perfect, it used to work out. Okay. We'll take advantage of this terrible decision that this made. Oh, Tauros, no! That was a perfect opportunity for you to get in my ball! Alright, fine! We'll get this lowly Pokeball instead. That's a KO for sure. On Forge. We do have Dunspower though, he has got Glare. And he's so bulky! Perfect. Critical hit? How dare you. Alright, Astrid, you're in. Astrid has false swipe. So we're gonna use false swipe on it. We're gonna knock it down a peg or two. Perfect, perfect. False swipe again. Pokeball, go! There we go. Tauros is caught. He wants to learn Bug Bite. Bug Bite would be a great move for me to learn. 60 power, better than Struggle Bug. So we'll switch her out. Okay, we've got the Wild Bull Tauros! Toro! Alright, another Pokemon registered. All of their friends are watching. Alright, let's hop into the bag real quick. We gotta revive our bud here. Buds. Perfect. Alright, we have healed. There's a trader over here. And an item! And a bunch of Tauros! No, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do it. They're going to run at us. Ooh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, they, they got me. They're just going to run. It seems like the best option. Run, 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 run. Ball. Poopy up. And a waitress. If you lose to me, you gotta pay me money. I don't know if I like that. You're challenged by the waitress. Bring it, waitress. We got your Psyduck. The perfect Pokemon for me and my grass cat to fight. Seed Bob. Oh! There, I am almost falling off that cliff. We have defeated the waitress. 
Yeah, you did. Ah! Perfect. Switch me around. Dig, solid move. It's over here, I wonder. Oh no! Great ball. And a raid! We love raids. Let's try it out. Ooh! Sandy Gast. Yeah, I want that. Um, we'll change our Pokemon. We'll switch to Charizard. And we'll just challenge it alone. It's a two-star raid, so it's slightly stronger than that one-star raid we did an episode ago, but it should not be a problem. Here we go. Two intimidates off on Sandy Gast. Rough stuff for you, my friend. Alright, let's Ember. We burned him on the first try. Nice. Bulldoze, not great. We're all good. Okay, Astonish doesn't do much. One more Ember and we'll have enough to Terra. Ember takes three attacks to get to Terra level. Do those again, does some damage, we're alright. We'll Terra and Ember. Sand. We'll throw a Pokeball at it. We're just going to stick with Sandy here. It's a great name for it. We've got a little bit more time to run around before we wrap up the episode here. Next time, we'll keep continue exploring around this area, um, and we will eventually run into, I think, our first Team Star encounter, so that'll be something we can do. As you can see, it's right over there. You can see the flags. So we'll probably do that next time. We need battle the trainer. I want to battle the trainer. That's what I'm here for. See that Pokeball's just floating there. It's still there. There we go. That's what I'm after. Alright, Salvador. 
Come to rest, mommy. Okay. Seed on it. Sure am. A shrewd out of the tree. It's fun. Oh, a Terra Pokemon! What Terra Pokemon is this? Floet! Just hit Floet real hard. item or two. We'll head towards this trader, I guess. And then we'll stop for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching me playing Pokemon Violet, and we'll be back next time. Um, we'll probably go check out that Team Star compound. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you soon.